Hi, and welcome to today's edition of The Grape List. Today's guest is so young, it doesn't even get a date on it. Uh, it is a white Zinfandel. This wine is 10% alcohol and coming to us from the Sonoma region of California. Brought to us by Beringer Vineyards. So without further ado, let's dive into this. To the wine cam. So wine, what do you taste like? It's like pure sugar. I feel like I'm drinking a Hawaiian punch or like a high C for adults. Interestingly enough, for this episode, I decided to splurge a little bit and get the uh, Big Bertha Big Gary uh, bottle of wine. It's a liter and a half. Yes, looks like my glass could use some refreshing. So while I do that, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Sonoma Valley region and also about White Zinfandel. There's actually a French term that was actually before uh, White Zinfandel and it was Eau de la Parati. Um, I'm probably gonna butcher that. Let me have the computer say it for you and I'm gonna word that over anything I say. So when this initially came out, it was and White Zinfandel. For the first like year or two, because people looked at it and they thought it was kind of cool, they ordered it. But I don't think they had a third run after that. And then it was kind of forgotten about until someone kind of accidentally did it again. And they realized, oh man, we need to do something with all these grapes we got that um, I forgot about. And so they said, oh, let's do... They were like, well, that's a great idea. Let's work on that. And then after they bottled it and everything, they said, we're going to just scratch that freaking name because we're in America. Americans speak American and they're just going to know White Zinfandel. So they were just like dropped up and just go straight with White Zinfandel. I did not know this and it's just astonishing to find this out. Sutter Holmes is actually the founder of this wine, of this wine in America, White Zinfandel. It's pretty impressive. It's a victim of its own success. So it was processed in a way that it would get some of the color from the grapes, but also uh, enhance some of the sugar. Most new people who are trying to wine would like the sugariness and the slight rosé color of it because it kind of looks very like fruit juicy and it's like something that they know. They're like, oh, this is like my childhood, but it gets me messed up. People actually liked it and they and it's actually sold out like, every year they made it. <laughs> I mean, I am I am not shocked because I mean it's not it's not that great. So I know what you're wondering. What did I pair with this bad boy? I'll tell you. Today's pairing is hamburger helper. Salty and sweet. An excellent pairing. It's just like it hits your palate. And it's gone. It's 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 the wham bam thank you ma'am of wines. It's a sugary taste. It's just sugar. It's sugar. It's sugar. 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 So wine. Where do you fall on the grape list? I'm going to have to say I like the strawberry taste. I do not like the uh, lingering sugary acre taste. The sugary taste in the beginning, the sugary taste in the middle. All I taste is sugar and a little bit of strawberry. So on the grape list, this is going to be number 19. And as always, right-handed in life, left-handed in wine. It's like pure sugar.